Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we'll be continuing with the basic crochet and I will be showing you how to do the double faced double crochet. This makes a very sturdy, very thick fabric. As you can see, it's nice and thick and it's soft. And so let's get started. And we're going to start this one just like we did with our others with a slip knot. And this stitch is a variation of the double crochet. If you go back to my very first video, you can see how a double crochet is done. But we're going to start with a chain and I'm going to do about 20 chains for my little sample piece. So I've got some on there and I'll meet you at the end of my chain. And here we are, I've got a chain of 20 and we're going to do a double crochet and to get started we're going to work in the third loop from the hook so don't count this one so there's one two three I'm going to turn it over and work in these loops on the underneath side you can see that little bump right there and to do double crochet you're going to yarn over go through that loop bring up your loop pull through two and pull through two and you're just going to go ahead and do that in every space all the way to the end of your first row do a couple more here for those of you who are not familiar with the double crochet and you're going to pull through two loops and then pull through two loops and then you'll just keep doing that until you get to the end of your row so here i am at the end of my first row of double crochet we're going to chain three one two and three and normally when you turn your work you would turn it to where you're holding it this way and work up here but for this you're actually going to take your your fabric here and just flip it like that to where you're holding it this way and then you're going to you're going to skip this first one so I'll show it to you this way. You go down your chain. Normally that would be your first one. We're going to skip that one and start here. And what we're going to do is we're going to work in this back loop only. So when you're holding your work, you've got one over here on the right and then one over here on the left. And that's your back loop. And you're going to only work in that one. So we're going to yarn over. Only go through that one loop. You might be tempted to go through this one that's right next to it, but you don't, you want to skip that one. And then you're going to bring your hook across your work here, and you're going to find this loop. If you're looking at it from this side, you've got one here and then one over on this side. And you're only going to go through that one right there so you're leaving that other loop alone and just going through that one that's closest to you and you're going to make sure you don't let your yarn go behind your work because if you do that you end up with a piece of yarn just wrapping around so you want to avoid that and I have found that it's easiest to just bring the yarn across your hook so you can grab it and you're just going to pull it through that first one 
and through that second one and then you'll continue like you would with a double crochet go through two and go through two and this is going to start layering your rows on top of each other so then we're going to yarn over and as you're looking at it you'll see these two that are right next to each other you're just going to go through that first one and then you just follow across to that next loop over here and grab your yarn and bring it through those first two and then finish your double crochet and then you'll yarn over and you're gonna look for your next one which is right here and then you're gonna go across your work over here to this loop over here Over, find your next loop here go through just that one then come over here to the other side and go through that one and bring your yarn through two and through two and through two and you'll just keep working your way up continuing you reach across your row like that and you'll notice that what you're doing here is you're starting to make a double thickness here on the other side and that gives your your fabric a nice thick cushiony feel to it so I'll show you one more time through that first one and then you're going to come up here to this one over here grab your yarn pull it through and then go through two and go through two and you're just going to keep doing that until you reach the end of your second row of double crochet and I'm coming to the end of my second row this is where you really got to pay attention not to let your yarn wrap around the back of your work so just bring it across your hook that way you can grab it bring it through those two bring through two and pull through two I'm gonna do these last couple of stitches it gets a little harder to to see the stitches find that, that last loop there come across and then just bring your yarn over towards the front over the front of your hook oops I forgot to yarn over okay yarn over and go through and go through and this will finish the uh, second row and you see it's already starting to look nice and thick and you can see it kind of looks like it's just been folded over and so that gives you your double thickness and then we're going to chain three one two three and we're going to flip our work over 
we're not going to go through this first one. We're going to come down here to this second one here. And you can see you might be tempted to go through this loop right here, but you're going to go skip that one. And you're going to come over here and find this loop. You can see these loops along this edge here. You're going to come over here and grab that first, go under that first one, grab your yarn, and then go through two, go through two, pull through two. And that's going to start giving you a double thickness. So yarn over, find your next loop here, go through just that one, and then you'll come over here to this one right across from it and continue with your double crochet. Yarn over. And it gets a little hard to see sometimes, but you can see where this next loop is. You go under that one. And you just keep working your way up the row. And sometimes you might have to pull this down a little bit to see that next loop. So what you're doing here is you're bringing this loop from the top of this double crochet and this loop from the previous double crochet and you're bringing those together. Of course it helps if you remember to yarn over and then go through your loops. And there we go. And you just continue doing that all the way to the end of your row. And here I am coming to the end of this row. Just got a couple more. As you get towards the end of the row, it gets a little harder to see your loops. You'll have this one last one here. She'll go through that one and then come down here and go through there. Bring it through two, pull through two, pull through two. And that keeps your edge nice and straight. And we're going to chain three, two, three, turn our, whoops, flip our work over. And then you could see when you get further along, you'll be able to start to see this row of loops a lot easier. So you're going to skip this first one, yarn over, go through this first one, and then go straight across to this first one right here. And then you'll just continue with your double crochet and then it gets a lot easier to see. So you're going to go through this first one and then straight over to this one. And then you just keep doing that until you get the number of rows you are looking for. Now we'll go ahead and do a few more rows and show you what it looks like. So I've got a few rows here done and here's how it's looking. You've got a double thickness of your stitches 
And when you go to finish, you've got this on one side where you've got one side of the double crochet, but you haven't come up with the other one yet. To give it a nice finished look, we're going to just do a single crochet. It's a little awkward, so you gotta move your yarn out of your way. And go through your loops like you were when you were doing the double crochet. And then you're gonna pull your yarn through those two and then go ahead and pull your yarn through these two. And so you'll just keep doing that as a single crochet all the way across your last row. And that will give you your second side on this last one. So you got to move your yarn out of your way, go through your loop, and then bring your yarn over across to pull through, and then pull through. And then you'll just do that all the way up until you have reached the end of your row there's my stitch go across that one and single crochet and then find these last two loops here kind of close together Go through those last two and do your single crochet and then just tie off like you normally would and that gives you a nice even finish all the way on both sides and there you go that is a double faced double crochet Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more videos and I will catch you all next time.